All right, we do have a lot of elk here. Definitely enough for some target practice. Hey guys, we're back here on Way of the Hunter today. And today we're gonna be testing out the seven mil and compare it to the 308. Now, I haven't ever purchased the seven mil. We're gonna be purchasing it for the first time and we're gonna be upgrading our scope today. So that should be interesting. Now, unfortunately the animals are not spotting properly. As you can see, everything in this herd of elk is a youngster. So it's not a great time to be hunting in Way of the Hunter right now until they do get this sorted. But we can definitely test out rifles right now. I'm sure we will notice if we do have a five star somewhere. Not gonna take down anything too serious. All right, let's go purchase that seven mil. Okay, we are gonna buy the seven mil. We don't have it yet. So let's go in here to shop. This is it right here, $1,560. We can afford that. Here we go. All right, now we're gonna equip it. Let's actually compare the 308 to the seven mil. So I am going to unequip the 223 and there's the new seven mil, all right. All right, so the other thing we're gonna purchase today is a new scope. So let's go in here to attachments. We're gonna buy this baby, the Leopold VX 6HD 318 by 44. It is expensive, but I do think it is worth the money. So there we go. Let's equip both of those. That's it right there. All right, and I'm gonna put it on here as well. I'm actually gonna go up here today. See what we can find. We want to use the seven mil, baby. Okay, so before I go rushing down here, there usually are quite a few animals down here. Now, things might not be spotting properly today, guys. There are some bugs in Way of the Hunter right now that are causing us not to see the animals correctly. I'm gonna play anyway because this game is too much fun not to play. We can still test weapons out and see what's actually going on with the game right now. Okay, we have some elk here. Now, unfortunately, they are all spotting as youngs, so they're not spotting properly, but we can still test out the seven mil on them. They're right here under our nose. All right, I'm gonna try on this one right here. Okay, this is the seven mil and our new scope, and I'm, oh my goodness, loving the new scope already. Okay, here we go. Beauty! Okay, I can already see the blood. Wonder how long he will live for. Well, let's go find out. But yeah, not being able to spot them properly, I hope they do get that fixed very soon because that is making it very difficult to hunt properly in the game. What do we have over there? All right, we'll check that out in a second. That's a, is that a bear spooking? I can't even pick up a reed on it. All right, we definitely have a good blood splatter. Yep, perfect. Now we saw it go in this direction. So we just need to find the trail. Okay, so there we go. Here it is. I always like to mark the first one and we will follow it. All right, here's our elk. So it didn't go too, too far. All right. So we got a single lung, left lung there with the seven mil. One star says he's a young, hard to say if that's true or not, but $612 and we didn't lose a lot of meat. So it did a great job on the elk there. So I would definitely recommend the seven mil on elk in Way of the Hunter. Let's sell that. Now, I understand that they have actually changed the payouts in the game. So we are actually getting less money now. So it is going to take longer to grind for gear if you are starting over or you are new in the game. Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments. And do you feel like this game is playable right now? I know there are some bugs in the game right now. It is making it very difficult to spot. That's the one thing that I can't stand that I hope really gets fixed soon. I'm sure that they are working on it and they actually have a pretty decent sized team. So hopefully we see that fixed within the next week. Here's hoping. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer to these guys. Can't get a read on any of them. Not that it matters right now. So we picked up a muley and an elk zone, both drink zones and both often. So this lake's pretty decent. Where'd they go? I didn't even see them spook. Ugh. Did I? Oh no, they are here. They're here. Okay. Oh, geez, man. Sometimes when you get too close, you can't see anything. Now it says they're calm, but are they really? Kind of looks like they know I'm here. There's a one star mature that I'm gonna take this guy and he's only a hundred meters out. Let's try the seven mil on him. So let's zero down to a hundred. Oh, I love this scope. Oh my goodness. It is super awesome. All right, my dude. 
Oh, you're all coming out to see me, are you? None of you are too big. How you doing, my dude? All right, here we go. Up close and personal. Jeez, did I even hit him? Well, I'll take another shot. Probably gonna lose some meat there. He shouldn't go too far. All right, let's go see. And here he is, but if he has two bullets in him, that stands to reason, doesn't it? And he does. So first one was a left lung. Second shot wasn't great. It was just liver, so we should have lost some meat there. Yeah, we're not getting paid a whole lot, and we did lose quite a bit of meat, but that's on meat. $125. This is where we are. This lake right here, top of the map, in the middle. Okay, we have a white-tailed deer out here, about 226 meters out. Let's see how we do with this shot. Then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna find another white tail and take it down with the 308 and compare them. Now we're zeroed correctly. Man, I love this scope. It is so great and you're gonna stand. You're the best. Here we go. Taming kickback. All right, we have to look that up. Let's do that right now before I forget. Taming kickback. There it is right there. Under lever action, hit the heart, either lung or artery 90 times with a lever action rifle. 20% less recoil, that's pretty sweet. I will take that. And the next one is steady hands. Hit heart, either lung or artery 100 times with a lever action. We have six more to get 20% less sway. So we'll have that one very soon. Now I actually had muleys here. I had whitetail and I had alcohol here drinking. Okay, we have a big, beautiful blood splatter and a very defined blood trail. Very sweet. And it did not go far, that is for sure. Okay, so we got left lung and right lung. I don't know if this actually is a one star. It's very hard to say. I'd have to study them. Wasn't that exciting anyway. And we hardly lost any meat. So the seven mil did an amazing job. So it, it only fled 108 meters and took me eight minutes to track. And that was approximately, let's see, how far was that shot? 226.1 meters and ran 100 meters. All right. Look at all the elk. Run, baby! Okay, so we've already taken down an elk with the seven mil. Let's take one down with the 308 now and compare the two. Now I'm not gonna take down any of these three stars. Let's zero that to 200. That's her. That's him right there. He's laying down. Actually, let's just take this one right here. Here we go. We got a beautiful blood splatter. I can see it already. Drop, baby. He's not going too far, that is for sure. I don't think we're gonna have to do much tracking. And splat. <laughs> All right, well, that, that doesn't happen like that too often, but that was pretty sweet. Okay, so we did get a double lung shot, 220 meter shot. That is with the 308. So the 308's pretty awesome on them. We lost two kilograms, so that's not a whole lot, less than 1%, $561. So I would say that the 308 and the 7 mil are very similar. Both are awesome weapons. Okay, we have some muleys and they seem to be spotting properly from what I can tell. All right, let's take a muley down with the 7 mil and this beautiful scope that I am absolutely loving. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a better angle. Uh, what, what? Oops. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, I am a klutz, what can I say? And it put me all the way back here. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I was all the way up here. Back we go. All right, well, the good news is they're right here. I just unlocked a perk, fast and loud. Okay, let's have a look at that. Under hunting, hiker. 15% faster, but 10% louder movement when crouched. So I traveled 15 kilometers in a crouch stance. 
I guess I've been doing that a lot. So 15% faster movement when crouched, but louder. Hmm. So there's good things and bad about that. That's very interesting, but that's what we just unlocked. All right, we have what appears to be a one star mature. Let's take this guy down with the seven mil. He shouldn't go too far and there we go. Where are you going, my dude? You're not gonna get too far, I don't think. Nah, I think we're gonna see him drop. Anytime now. Man, I would've thought he would die by now. Come on. <laughs> I think he just died in the water. All right, well, I marked him. He didn't go too far. Did it actually die in the water or what happened? There's blood. All right, so I'll mark the blood. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I give up. Well guys, I think it is safe to say that the 7 mil is a pretty awesome weapon. It is very comparable to the 308 in Way of the Hunter. Both of them are gonna do a great job for you. It's just really comes down to personal preference. Unfortunately, there are some bugs in Way of the Hunter right now, but it really is a great game. I'm sure they will be fixed soon and we will be back for more hunting here on Way of the Hunter. Don't forget to leave a like guys, you guys are awesome and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.